And uh, it's interesting because people don't realize that John Bindernagel, he was interested in Sasquatch way back when. Mm -hmm. uh, but he couldn't go public with it because he was afraid of what his colleagues would say and think. But he used to write John Green. Bindernagel was in Tanzania doing some work over there in Africa. And he was writing John Green saying, you know, my name's John Bindernagel. Uh, I'm finishing up my doctorate. And, uh, you know, I want to move to British Columbia. And he, he literally, like Rene, went and moved to British Columbia just to research Sasquatch. But he really couldn't do much until he retired, at least publicly. But he was in t contact with Green starting in the mid to late 70s. Wow. Um, he had claimed to hear the creature near, uh, what is it, Comox Lake? Yeah. In 92, and he com he had compared it to the sound of a chimpanzee. Yeah, but uh, in John's defense, he never claimed it was a Sasquatch. Yeah. 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 Just he didn't know what it was. Yeah, he didn't know what right. it was. Yeah. He found, he, had, he found a, a set of tracks in Strakona Park that had been stepped on by hikers, and he was impressed with them. Yeah. Um, he seemed like such a soft-spoken gentleman with just uh, so much knowledge that, you know, you could hear him. When you hear any of his interviews, you could just sit there and listen to him talk because he's uh, such an orientator, you know. He just, uh, he captures you when he's, when he's talking, for sure. And his two books, Nikki, and Thomas knows this, they are so well-written. John had two books. They were self-published. He basically sold them from his house on Vancouver Island, um, and they're hard to they're hard to come by, especially signed copies, because he he would just basically mail them out to people. Mm -hmm. So if you could find if you could find his books, buy it or buy them because they're both well written books, some of the best out there. And there's a a, a biography written about John Bindernagel. Yeah, uh, that just came out a couple years ago. Yeah, I, I, I proofread that. Yeah, yeah, by uh, Terrence James. Yeah, yeah, Terrence had reached out to me to get some information because I had all the the green files mm -hmm. and all the all the correspondence between John Bindernagel and John Green. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a great book too. Oh, that's, um, that's some old photos. Yeah, I found a couple there. Wow. Uh, what was that? I, I think I two of them I haven't seen before those photos. Interesting. The youngest ones of him. One of them, the one on the left was really dark. I had to lighten it up a bit. Yeah. Because um, you couldn't barely see anything in the background or any any of that. But 